Hey guys, it's JRD and welcome back to my channel, but most importantly, welcome back to another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. This is part three, guys. So, um, we're ready to go to the proofing. We're close to where we need to go, like 100 footsteps away. But in the meantime, I did the other um, secondary mission, like the errand. I had to save a guy who pretended to be dead. He left trails behind him, like that he was dead, but... We found him, we got 1000 XP and a uh, gift box, which is good. Then I, um, just before I started this episode, I met a horde of um, semi-dino robots or whatever you want to call them. And I, like, I had fun killing them stealth, in a stealth way. So, yeah, this game is fun, man. So now we are ready to go to the proofing. I don't know what this entails. The I didn't come this far when I tested the game just before I started recording. So... I don't know. Anyway, we've discovered the camp. Aloy, you're here. Hey! This is the merchant, right? Oh no, there's Rost. Okay. You have the firearms. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? Look, Rost. I've thought it through, and I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. And I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. Okay, so... Let's tell him that I helped Grata. I got Odd Grata her rabbits, for which she thanked All Mother, of course. It was All Mother working through you to bring her the rabbits. You always say that, but I was there and I hunted alone. And you always say that, and so make yourself alone. Tripcaster? I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlawed trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Okay, what is this lesson anyway? I don't anyway? understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Okay, relax, Until then, man. we wait. Okay, let's get some rest then. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. So I actually forgot that we had a mission before we actually go to the proofing. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. 
I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy, with threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. Kevin, what happened to him? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Nice. Oh, I see. Oh, by the way, off camera, I learned that when you loot the, the, the robots, if you press triangle, it will loot everything automatically. Or watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Follow the path of destruction. We're not fighting this, we're not here to fight this guy, so I would like to kill him in a stealthy way, just in case he brings along like a super beast or something. It won't be much farther now. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribe's graves have this machine? They did. Kills we faster theirs. Tomorrow they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. Let's see what's here first. Look at all this loot, man. Another one. I didn't take it. An entire lodge wrecked by sawtooths? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. Side. This hunt is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. Do you understand? You are on your own. Cheers, Ross. I should stay out of sight. Yeah, definitely. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Um. He has two weaknesses.
shit. Run, 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 run. Okay, it was easy, man. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Man, I'm telling you, the facial expressions in this game... They're amazing. Gone has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. And I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. Uh, see you at Mother's I'll Heart. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will. Okay, hang on a sec. Let's... Put 500 XP for that. For that kill, I mean. Stocking up? Yeah, stocking up. Now, Mother's Heart. Not far away. Um, Before we actually go to Mother's Heart, let me check. Skills. Lending from a fall jump is completely silent and will not alert otherwise unaware enemies. Hunter reflexes, time slows aiming during a jump or slide. Uh, this might be useful. Concentration while aiming, this we have. Precision. Light spear attacks have an increased chance to knock off armor and components. Lure call. Use from the tools menu to lure a single enemy to your location. The target will be... Hmm. The symbol resources and modifications into 50% of their metal shard value. Hmm. I might go for the drop. The inventory, we've got resources, it's fine. Of 
we've got a treasure box 25 metal shards 1 15 blaze 5 metal vessel and fast travel pack and 3 health potions okay take 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 uh was this traps and potions Mm. Okay, now Now that we've done some maintenance Let's get with this proving, man See ya. See ya. Okay, let's go. We're there. We're almost there. So, basically, the the contestants that pass the proving will be then will be then called braves like soldiers but the one that wins the proving apart from being a brave he will they will grant him any one wish anything he would ask for anything and they will grant it for him and that's the whole purpose of her attending the proving to learn about her mother I am ready, Rust. Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. I've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There'll be people celebrating and feasting, more than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. Why was he outcasted? Are you sure they're gonna let me in? I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm all set. Let's I'm do it. Do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this to remember. Shit. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? Because probably we'll never no. will. No. You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... 
attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. Shit. I see. I'm glad to have this then. It will remind me of you, of everything you did, and how you helped prepare me for this day. Fuck, man. Thank you. Heavier than it looks. But the cord is strong. May all mother bless you, Aloy. Give it a hug, for fuck's sake, man. And you. How could he do this? Today of all days. I have to keep my mind on the proving. Ah, uh, goodbyes are never easy, man. Most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. Uh, we will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? An old friend. The only other person we met was that kid we saved when, like when when he was like Aloy. when he, remember he fell. It's you, isn't it? Over here. Yeah, it's it him, is Tab. Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly. Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. Good to see you, man. You tried man. to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Okay, so what does this give us? It has one modification. One slot for modifications. We've got more though. We can do more, like we can craft more. This is the Nora Survivor Light. Rigged for endurance and protection against all the elements. Silent Hunter. Stitch for stealth. Protector Light. Nora's Briefs Armor Enforced for the front of the war party. Okay, cool. 
There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. <laughs> Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Okay, be ready to duck. That's cool. How does a force fire? I miss her. Jog! Okay, get so. Bad enough, you're drunk. Listen what do you have to go climbing now. houses? Shame that you well, you'll have to oh, tell this when I'm gone. You're not supposed to go climbing you know, on other people's roofs, huh? So, we have to look for Mother Teresa. Hey! Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? I remember. And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. I'll give you my best prices, I promise. Let's see what he has. Uh, weapons. He has the sling. This slow firing sling lobs elemental bombs with a large area of effect, best used to inflict elemental states and targets. Making them vulnerable to follow up attacks can be modified. So this basically throws elemental bombs. Rope caster, this weapon is used to tie down machines and immobilizes them. Larger targets require more ropes and attacking a tied machine will reduce the immobilization time can be can be modified tripcaster we have warbow the slow damage weapon fires elemental payloads best used to put targets into vulnerable states providing a valuable combat advantage can be modified sharp shot bow the slow firing but highly accurate bow is best used for long range combat when target position is critical, cricket, critical can be modified. Karja sling. I ain't buying anything, man. See you later, Karst. I ain't buying anything. I feel like it's too early to buy weapons. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. 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 <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude. Killers and slavers! Yeah! Killers and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance Hold your fruit, nor... Uh, nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th king is dead. 
two years now. Who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah. Yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th kid. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude, written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. Evil <clears throat> of the Nora. On the eve of your birth, no, the cards are just like mine. Like mine. The sun's light frames the stoutest trees. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn, you making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No, uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. <laughs> um, Olin. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Tell me about Olin again. When he's not oh, scrounging, he's scouting. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion. Um, nice armor. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard are the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. We might even give them Nora War Maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. Hmm. Quite. A <coughs> Apologies. Quite a speech. I thought again. your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids, and who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. If you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? I mean, were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but... Lives were lost. 
This, this is a long dialogue, man. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Uh. Who are the Asaram? Well, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things, arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries, you know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> Captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard, favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, oh, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Hmm. Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh... Direct. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry, I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, Entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers, but the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. Uh, any more about derangement? Tell me about the derangement again. No. Well, the, when a hunter came at, so it was hard. But then the now went a few more years. If that wasn't bad. Like the sawtooth. Yeah, ten. So what's making? Uh, no one knows. Okay. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. We should go to the blessing. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable. And, well, I mean, look at you. Are you uh, flirting? What are you talking about? You know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life if you want it. 
Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing to so uh, see you around, maybe. He's flirting, all right. Well, that was a long conversation. I won't let the card of faith stop me from joining. Where do we need to go? This way, I guess. Are you waiting on us? Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother in her honor light its flame well we don't have a mother so we'll do it for rost in honor of rost and all he did to help me get here oh mother hear our prayer what is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Owen. I have some questions for him. Imagine. If Vala's attempt with the warrior her mother is, she's going to win. Where's Olin? This just doesn't compare to five years ago. Oh. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. Hmm. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned, and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape, then. I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. Okay, he's hiding something, though. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... 
Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Okay. What about Vala? She's strong. Blood of a war chief. So now. Where do we go from here? Probably I took the shortcut here. It was I wasn't meant to go this way, but anyway. Guess it works. and dream of winning the proving that's the closest you're gonna get oh this is the bed house with you standing guard i figured it was the latrine you're you're very present here <laughs> well said well well look who's come in from the wild the motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. Uh, you're afraid. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the Proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. Uh -huh. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. Go to sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Let's go to sleep. No, we need to talk to nice Vala. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But <laughs> win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. Who's this? Get young nor a hunt. Greet young Nora Hunter. Ah, no, fine. Um, I'm going to sleep. But I don't know if once I I hit the triangle, if it um, like there's a cutscene and then there's the proving. So I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to end this episode here because it's already 50 minutes basically of recording. Um, and yeah, I'll come back tomorrow with more and hopefully this time. We can do the proving. Until then, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did so, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to if you're new. My name is Jerry. Until next time, stay safe and bye-bye.